Check this shit. So we're going to go over the whole games list and talk about each of the runs that we think are cool and stuff. So this is the games done quick 20 summer summer games done quick 2022, the first in-person GDQ event um since like 2019, like early 2019, maybe even 2018. Um we'll start off with my runs because I'm fucking stoked. Actually no we won't. We will just do the whole thing. And when we get to my runs, we get to my runs. So right off the bat, we got Advanced Wars, any percent no map glitch. That sounds pretty cool. DS game. Uh, Alien Cabal, never heard of it. MS-DOS game. Uh, remote Runner Juho, the homie Juho, nice. Uh, running Alyssa, any percent NSE. And then you got Jake Rock doing Altered Beasts on Genesis. Space Coast Gaming doing Altered Beast on Genesis as well. It's a co-op run. Uh, glitchiness running Addo. Any percent assist NMG. No idea what that is. Duck running Banjo Tooie. Classic, classic game, Banjo Tooie. Any percent. Really hard category from what I know. I've watched like a couple of video essays about it and it, it's like really difficult. Uh, Jimmy Diamonds, another remote runner doing Battle Axe. Arcade mode easy. Uh, Uranium Anchor doing Blaster Master. It's a race between uh, Uranium Anchor and David. Blacktastic, the fighting game homie, running Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon, any percent ultimate. That should be dope. Deceptics doing Geared UVHM for Borderlands 2. I have no idea what that category is. Um, Jake Rock doing another run, Bubble Bobble Part 2. Let's go. No idea what that is, but it sounds awful. It's an NES game. They usually are. Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. This is like ultra hard mode, I guess. Like New Game Plus Ultra Hard or some shit. What's up, Maxi? Um, Aquas doing Bulk Smash. Bulk Slash. Any percent New Game? It's like a Saturn. New Game Plus Plus. Okay. That's cool. Uh, Gross Hiking doing a Celeste True Ending. I'm surprised they did Celeste again. Because Celeste has been there a lot. And I was... This is the only game in the whole marathon submission that I thought 100% was getting in. Celeste SMC. It's a Super Mario World ROM hack that is basically just the game Celeste. This is probably the coolest mod that has ever been made in any game ever. It is sick. This is the only thing I'm like, that gets in. No matter what. 100% that gets in. Uh... And it's, of course, Grand Pooh Bear. And it's a race between Mr. Mighty Mouse and Grand Pooh Bear. I don't know Mr. Mighty Mouse, but Pooh Bear is dope. Uh, Obio running Chocobo GP. It's also a race with Garagi Dog. Uh, Demon Child Elise running Cro Kogan Sword of the Rewind. New game, any percent. Never heard of that either. Another remote runner. Uh, Demonic Robots, the homie. Oh, the old editor. Uh, all Bosses Control. This is dope. I know that Brian Otto's been wanting this to get in forever, and so is Demonic. So this should be pretty sick. This should be a really cool run. Uh, Potty doing Crash 2, 100%. Nice. Shock V doing Deer Simulator. I remember watching Punchy like, read over the submission list, and he's like, this gets in just because it's goofy as fuck. Like, what even is this? Then we got your boy. Devil May Cry, Dante Must Die, all collectibles. Honestly, I didn't think this got in. But this is fucking sick. I'm so stoked that this got in. This is hype. The game's never been done on Dante Must Die New Game. Way back in the day, like 2012, it was done New Game Plus Dante Must Die, any percent. Um, not very well. But, dude, DMD, all collectibles. That's going to be a fucking sick run. And Maxi's there, so he's going to be on the couch. Let's fucking go. I'm super stoked. So I was doing 100 no resets of that run. But I gave up at 20 because I fucking was like, this is dumb. And uh, I already got 100% world record, so I'm not going to grind this anymore. But now I got to finish the 100 no resets for sure. Because I have to practice for GDQ. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll need to get a macro going. 
Um, I'm sure it should be fine. Worst case scenario, I'll just use the slow macro. I'll use uh, I'll use the the macro from big picture mode. I'll see if I can use the auto hotkey macro as well, but if not, that's fine, and I could just use big picture. But I should be totally fine to use big picture macro. That should be totally good. You're surprised that I got in. I was like, yeah, DMD is sick. That's true, but DMC has had its time. I thought so too. I thought it was DMC too, but DMC two didn't get in. So I don't know. It is like the ultra nightmare 100% run of Devil May Cry. And it's been a while since you did DMC1, and it's only been done on normal any percent. So, like, I would, I would have loved to got had Loner get in, but obviously, like, I'm stoked that I got DMD in as well. I just wish we both got in. But, uh, dude, it's going to happen. Loner is going to get DMC2 in at some point. It just has to. Like, there's no way. Um, but I'm super stoked, because DMDAC is, like, my favorite Devil May Cry run at this point. It's fucking sick. So I'm super excited to show this off. Um, Tonkotsu doing DKC from remote. Reverse boss order. That should be sick. I didn't even know you could do RBO on DKC. That must be a broken ass category. Uh, DKC tropical freeze. Any percent. Spike Vegeta. The homie. Mute D6. Running Doom Eternal. 100% Ultra Nightmare. That is fucking dope. I hope that our runs are next to each other. <laughs> that would be sick. Mute is a legend, and it's been a while since they've done 100% UN. Obviously, he's going to run on Nightmare because UN is not marathon safe. But Mute is cracked, dude. He's like the best Doom Eternal runner, and that's the homie. That's the homie. Uh, I don't know who it's all going, but I might be, end up being on the couch for this. I'm not sure. I don't want to claim it because I haven't been asked, but um, we'll see. Zello, remote runner, doing uh, Ernest Evans on the any percent. Sega Genesis, 12 minutes. Really short run. Catalyst doing Elden Ring All Remembrances. I didn't think that Elden Ring All Remembrances would get in. I thought that Elden Ring any percent would get in. But I did not think that All Remembrances would get in. Um, and I'm surprised that it's not Hazeblade. I haven't been keeping up that much, but I thought he had record at the time of submission. But maybe not. I don't know. This one's weird because the game is so new. Like, it's really new. But they probably went with the safe bet, which is Catalyst. I think he's done GDQ runs before, right? He's like a trusted Souls runner. Better time and better estimate. Okay, that makes sense then. For sure. Hypersomniac on a bonus any percent Elden Ring run. Interesting that they took two different Elden Ring runners. Usually when they do a bonus game category, the same runner runs it. And I'm really curious what the any what what is this? Because when this was submitted, there any percent was like 30 minutes long, but now it's like eight minutes long. So like what any percent is this? Is this any percent restricted? Like, is this just any percent? Unrestricted? Like, this needs an update for the category and estimate, probably, because like I don't even know what run this is. You know? Yeah, unrestricted is like seven minutes. I doubt it's unrestricted. Me too, but they probably submitted it as unrestricted. You know, like, because at the time that game submissions closed, there was no unrestricted or restricted categories. It was just any percent. And it was like, you either did the zips or you don't, right? Um, so I don't know. I have no idea what, run, what this run is. And I ran this category. <laughs> uh, Vin? Yo, Vin, nice. Uh, remote Runner, doing Faith, Chapter 3, Any Percent, Ending 2. Nice. Um, it's a bonus game, though, for Elden Ring Any Percent, so I kind of feel like it might be unrestricted. Just, like, full-on fucking balls to the wall, like, just do everything. Because that's, like, a just a, it would be a good, good showcase, but for a live run, I don't know how consistent that run is. We'll see. It's a bonus game, and it's Elden Ring. It gets in. I think there's no way they don't meet this donation incentive, right? Did you right? say something? Oh, no. I've just been talking. Oh, okay. I'm at the beginning of 5-4, so... I nice, don't know dude. how hard it's going to be, but... Good luck. Yeah, I really fucked up Krauser. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Um, Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. A four-way any percent NMG race. I think if you're going to do a Final Fantasy game, this is probably the best way to do it. Because... JRPGs are boring. So just like, this is four JRPG runs, right? So just 
there you go. There's all the JRPG fans. They get four runs. <laughs> and it, I mean, and doing a four-way race makes it more interesting for even people that don't like JRPGs that much, right? Because it adds more to look at than just like a set of menus. So you get four sets of menus. Uh, Final Fantasy X by Foxy Jira. Any percent cutscene remover. Four hours long. This game is how long with cutscenes? It's four and a half. It's four hours long without cutscenes? Holy shit. That is insane. That's five hours less. It's usually nine hours long. That is crazy. I, I'm very glad that they took it without cutscenes. Ace Delusional, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, All Endings in Bounds as a bonus game. FNAF as a bonus game. Okay. That's the new one, right? Uh, Artful Hobbies doing F-Zero GX. Story mode, max speed, very hard. That should be cool. K uh, Ritz Blues, Gourmet Warriors. Bonjour Normal, Madisibus Normal, and Trespian Normal. Bid War. Okay. Um, KZ, the homie, GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. This should be fucking broken, right? FNAF kids asking mommy for credit card for charity. Works out. Yeah, I mean, I, I fuck with it for sure. Um, Sabera Messiah, Greek Memories of Azure, any percent. Never heard of it. Uh, Benja, another remote runner, Gunvolt Chronicles, Luminous Avenger, IX2. That's got to be a Gundam game, right? That's a mecha for sure with that title. Hard mode and normal mode. Upgrade incentive for hard difficulty. Nice. Buffet time. Half-Life Alex inbounds as a bonus game. I'm so stoked to see VR games that are actual games. It's a 2D platformer with really sick mechanics. Oh, cool. That works too. Dude, Half-Life Alex inbounds. This should be sick. Like an actual proper, I hope that they have, like the dude standing up, fucking, that would be, si that, this would be a really fun run to watch at GDQ in person. That'd be super dope. And then, I got two runs in. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but Halo Infinite, all missions, no tank gun. They didn't take any percent, probably because I didn't submit legendary. Any percent's like 28 minutes long, but I've never ran ledge so i didn't submit it because i never ran it so they took all missions which is kind of fucking sick because any percent is like kind of volatile like if you miss the ghost ghosts then it's kind of scary you know and all missions has some really cool tech in it so i'm really excited to show that off and i have record in that i have all missions and record for all missions can go lower like 10 minutes at least because there's a bunch of new tech uh, like a ton of new tech since I ran it. Hark has been optimizing it for with, with tank gun. And so I just have to take what Hark did and, and do it without tank gun. And like easy free like 10 minutes improvement on record. Um, Teddy Ross, uh, Happy Humble Burger Farm. Uh, any percent. Never heard of it. Sancho Pando Eco. Any percent 60 hertz. They have a hertz category. For eco, that's interesting. It's a long game. Wow, an hour and forty-two minute estimate. Crazy. It's a meme game. He's an expert of bad and meme games. I see. It sounds terrible. Happy Humble's Burger Farm. Uh, Bram Hall the Fifth, Incredible Crisis. Any percent? Never heard of it. PS One game though. Dan the VP, Infernax, Defeat Belfagor, Any Percent Classic. Now that's a mouthful. No idea what that is. Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine by Ghoul02. Uh, Matador Rookie. It's a race between Ghost Kumo and Ghoul02. All Matador tracks. I see. Okay, that category makes more sense. It's a racing game. Um, Super Kaizo Super Mario World Relay Race by Barb. Uh, it's a relay race, but who's in it? Just Barb? I mean, this would be sick. Barb is dope and Kaizo is cool. But like, if it's a relay race, who else is doing it? Um, I don't know. 
Sakaida doing Kamiko, 100% Uzume, 100% Yamato, Bidwar, I see. He relays himself, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, David TKI. King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. Isn't King's Quest a point and click adventure? Or am I completely off base here? I'm pretty sure it is, right? I don't know, we'll come back to it. Shasta, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Nice. An hour and 50 minutes is a long Kirby run. Shasta the homie. Swordsman Kirby. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. GameCube with Game Boy P GBP? Game Boy Picture? Wire warpless and any percent? Upgrade incentive for warpless. I see. Uh, Amoser. Klonoa, Door to Phantom Mill. Never heard of it. PS2 game, though. PS2 games are cool. Uh, Hip, Hypnotics, Remote Runner. Uh, Knuckles Chaotix, Beat the Game, Character Bid War. Nice. Okay, that's Sega 32X. That's like a scuffed Sega console, right? This is, uh, that's got to be Sonic and, like a Sonic game, right? It's Knuckles. Okay, Left 4 Dead 2 main campaigns co-op. So, this is kind of complicated. One of the runners will not be able to run at the event. But I know the run, and I'm already going, and I've played with these guys before. So, we're going to try to get me to replace the person that can't come. Which means I'll have three runs. I don't know how that's going to work. They could do it with just three players, but it wouldn't be as good. And I'm already going to be there. And it won't require that much extra practice. So I think that it'll be fine. But we'll have to figure out what happens with that. Uh, they could just do it three players, but it would... they'd have to mess with some stuff for sure. Um, Osmorn, a remote runner, doing Liminal Ranger. Um, oh, but as well, I would love to do the, that run. That'd be sick. I'm like addicted to the GDQ stage. I'm like, I'm just up there all the time. I don't care. Never, never seen your run before. Never even played the game. Put me on the couch. Whatever. I love that shit. It's super fun. Um, so I'll do it. But Osborn Remote Runner, Liminal Ranger, True Ending and Normal Ending. Cool PC game. Ness Lizard Lady versus the Cats. 87.5%. What in the fuck is that? Also any percent. 87.5% is <laughs> twice as long as any percent. I'm curious why not just 100%. That's got to be awful, right? This, this has got to be like awful block or something. This is like no way. Ellipsis, uh, Limione, any percent and 100% all stars. Race, it's a race with an upgrade incentive, I see. Okay, cool. Lots of races this event. Kepka, MacBat64. Uh, any percent, 11 minutes long, I see. I have no idea what that is. Big Law doing magic trick, all stickers. Nine, lots of really short runs. Like 15 minutes, 11 minutes, 9 minutes, 21 minutes. Uh, Big Law's cool. Omni Gamer, a remote runner doing uh, Baju U. Any percent hard, a good ending hard. Lots of incentives for upgrading categories. I like it. I like it. It's a cool, it's a cool trend that I hope that GDQ continues to do. Uh, Duck doing Mario Party, mini game, island, any percent. So just the mini games, like all the mini games in a row. That's cool. It's, it's almost like a showcase at that point. Most of it's just button mashing. Like look at look at how fast I can button mash, guys. Um, the homie, my guy, bike wave, mass effect, any percent, no Mako glitch. And can we all just thank the game list committee for saving my, my guy's sanity by making it any percent, no Mako glitch instead of any percent because the Mako glitch is cancer. I don't know if he submitted any percent, uh, but it's awful, and I watched him grind it, and it was not fun. So I'm glad it's no Mako glitch. <laughs> Liz Star, McDonald's Treasure Land Adventures. Why is that game 25 minutes long? I don't even think he submitted regular 80%. 
Good for him. I'm glad they took the longer run. <laughs> I don't think anyone will ever want to run that category in a marathon. Mega Man 5 by PP, Peapot.1. It's a Mega Man game. What can I say? They're all the same. White Hat also running the same game. Also Mega Man. Blacktastic has two runs. Running also Mega Man. Look, this Mega Man... You, you want any proof? Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man Powered Up? Mega Man The Willy Wars? Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 2? This is all the same game. All right, this, this all, Mega Man Extreme? Mega Man Extreme 2? Same estimate. Bid War? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Lots of Mega Man. Metal Gear? Uh, that's not Metal Gear Solid, right? This is like Metal Gear like the Mecha game. No, this is not the mecha game. Metal Gear like the side-scroller. Yeah, I guess so, Yuris. You'll, we'll see. It should be three. How you doing, buddy? Mecha Razium doing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance New Game Plus Hard. So who's, who's commentating this? Uh, I guess Cosmic, right? I don't know anyone who runs Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And you definitely don't want Mecha alone on the mic, because he's actually insane. He can be fun in small doses, but you give this man the mic for an hour straight? Like, we need, we need some people on this. <laughs> I mean, good for him, but man's a little unhinged. We need, we, need a, we need some people helping with that one. Hopefully Cosmic can do that. At least. I have never played the game, so I can't. Uh, D-Limes doing MGS2. Nice. PC European Extreme. That should be sick. Metroid Dread. Any percent NMG normal. Yep. That's pretty dope. Illumina doing Minecraft Java. Any percent random C glitchless current Okay, version. I'm on Saddler. Nice, dude. You got this. How would you enjoy the shield, guys? Dude, I, I had eight flashbangs ready to go. And then I <laughs> all shields. Pointless. Yeah. Literally the worst thing that you could have gotten, dude. All shield guys. I had so many flashes too. I'm like, I got this. 5-4 is going to be easy. <laughs> That's what I saved them all for the whole time. I yeah, didn't even it's... have my uh, rocket launcher. I just freaking used it on the U3 because it was pissing me off. So I was like... You could buy another. Oh. But yeah, the Saddler's not going to be too bad. I'll be like two minutes. Yep. Let me know. <clears throat> Metroid Dread. Any percent normal? An MG, that should be sick. Fellow turbo user. Uh, Minecraft Java by Illumina. Any percent random C glitchless current version. I like how his estimate is an hour, even though you could finish the run in like 15 minutes. But current version should be really cool. This is uh, like Caves and Cliffs update. So the generation is completely different. It, it'd be like a way different run than like 1.16. So this should be a really cool run to see. Uh, bullets, bu uh, bullets running me, Sweecy? Any percent no hover, 15 minute little PC run, that's cool. Jow Bagel, Monster Hunter Rise, uh, Magnolimo with add ons. Mag Magnolimo percent with add ons. What is that? Monster Hunter Rise. Isn't this like a story game? Is that Dante? Yeah, we were doing a randomizer race, but he hasn't finished yet. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm waiting for him to finish. Uh. Pachillin, Nights into Dreams. All levels at 8%. Cool. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise of JRPG. Yeah, I figured. Retro Runner doing Ninja Gaiden NES. That's cool. Uh, Mega Retro Man, Ninja Warriors NES. It's the same game, except for this is... No one's ever heard of this one. Uh, Incentive for Hard. That's cool. Uh, Star Smiley doing Amori. Any percent glitched. A three-hour Amori run. I've never seen a Mori before. I don't know what that is. That's a long run, though. That's kind of cool. My boy, Sharkat87, the Dead Space God, doing Outlast 100%. That's pretty cool. I was, if I saw Sharkat, I was expecting Dead Space 3, not going to lie. They did Dead Space 1, then Dead Space 2, and then Dead Space Outlast 100%. But I was, they made a cutscene skip mod for Dead Space 3. So the run's only like an hour and a half long now. 
So like, I kind of thought they'd take Dead Space 3, but it's not its time yet, I guess. We'll see. Maybe next event. Uh, Katie doing Pac-Man World 2 any percent. I'm guessing this is a race with McKitty. Um, Zero If doing Perfect Dark, Special Agent. That's double O's. That's GoldenEye, right? Chocolate Orange doing Perspective Inbounds. Never heard of it. Lots of short runs, man. Yeah, dude, Sharkat's going to get sub one hour in Dead Space 2 like any day now. It's going to happen. It's going to be fucking sick. And I'm going to make a video on it for sure. Four player co-op, any percent, small maps, Phasmophobia. That should be interesting. I don't know how much I'm interested to watch it, but it should be interesting that it exists. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Gen 4 finally gets into GDQ. Has Gen 4 ever been into GDQ before? And it's a remake. That's interesting. I know Gen 4 remake has not been in, right? But I don't know if Gen 4 has ever been in either. It's a long Pokemon run, dude. It's four hours glitchless. And any percent as a bonus game. 25 minutes. I could see any percent. I am finished. G... G, oh, dude. And I only cheated two times. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that I was to rough. At the end. Yeah, I wanted to at the end, man, but I was like, I came this far, man. I, I can't, no. I just had to do it. You had to finish it for the culture. I just skipped Minecart, which pretty well, I mean, uh, you know, I didn't know Minecart skip, so whatever. Yeah, you could have I mean, done I, it. It was one other part, but whatever. I, I, did, I did most of the work. <laughs> yeah, you, dude, that was a brutal seed. That was brutal. Jeez, like was it really that bad it was it's hard like they're not they're not all like that i okay. mean okay so i only did one seed before this but i beat it in like under three hours and i didn't get the striker and i never had any rooms that i was like this is fucked but that seed had like multiple where i'm like this is insane this is like so hard i'm like can you get soft locked because i think so <sighs> dude i'm surprised we didn't get soft locked uh yeah. the crashes were annoying but yeah I mean, the crashes that, sucked um, but that was just the mod being jank you know i mean overall it's a great mod like it works really well oh yeah and yeah i mean it's pretty new so it still has to uh work out the kinks and stuff but exactly it's mostly just my, the crashes that were brutal i believe my final time was 423 shit i stopped the timer before i could check i, I don't know what mine was i could go back in the vod i guess Hang on, let me see what mine was. Oh, it was so close to it was four almost four twenty. Okay, not not bad honestly for a randomizer. Holy yeah, shit. no, that was chilling. That was a good job. Okay, you made um, it through. Damn, I guess that that was pretty fun. Yeah, that was I'd a like great to fun. do like a totally random seed. Uh, like originally, I wanted to do a totally random seed after this, but that just killed my soul and i don't know if i wanted to do a <laughs> race again yeah no Holy i feel shit. that for sure that was brutal like, i'm glad we did the I, same <laughs> seed because otherwise imagine like you got that seed and then i got like a super easy seed or vice versa that'd be well that's what i was hoping it would be like pretty funny you'd be having a just a fun old time and i'd be like just or or it'd be the opposite way around you know one of us would be like just crying the whole time and the other one would have a good time so there's still a chance we could still do that yeah, you know. probably. I just I feel like a whole week has passed at this point. <laughs> I don't even know what, what what time field am I in right now. We were oh in the God. the Resident Evil Four hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> we were grinding it no, out. I, it was a good time. Jesus. I, oh. I finished at three fifty five. Oh shit! And then you also you were going through the crashes while I wasn't, so I'd say you had an extra twenty minutes shaved yeah, off maybe. on top of that. But, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed you got through that shit, man, because you can't even really prepare for a randomizer race like that. No, not really. Oh I, I, I have so like, many hours in the game. Like, Yeah, and speedrun strats don't really work that well. Like, There's the odd one of like, you know, the, yes. the minecart skip and stuff, but for the most part, you're not really speedrunning. Not really, no. It, it's mostly just like game knowledge. From I've done a couple challenge runs. No, I did like a challenge mm. run where I didn't open my inventory the whole time, and that definitely yeah, I've helped. Heard, I've heard that one's brutal. Yeah, that would definitely help because you just have to, like, run past everything. So I got really good at running past stuff. Oh, shit. Well, congratulations. You deserve that win because that... 
Dude, I don't even know if I could could have gotten past the double Krauser part without your tip of closing the door. I thought I was just fucked. Honestly, I had to go all the way back, close the door, and then come all the way forward. And then, as I was holding on to the to the crank, I heard them open the door. That was oh no! Terrifying. <laughs> that I had a heart good. attack. But well, overall, job, I'm happy we did soft block at least. The crashes yeah, we've, were we kind of sucky, but I mean, honestly, not too bad for new mud. Yeah, we finished it. So that's what matters. Good job, dude. Thanks for doing it with me. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks for helping me out too, man. I mean, <laughs> I, got, I took a lot of strats from you while we were playing. All right. Uh, I'll see you later then. Good game. Yeah, see you, man. Have a good one. Woo. What a time to do a collab. What a time to do a collab. This is the GDQ games list. So let's go back to the GDQ games list. Try to finish it. Real fast, the, the the breakdown. Where was I at? Phasmophobia. Okay, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer, Evolve Entry Level Race. It's a co-op run with Kizaron, Shenanigans, and 360 Chrism. So this is like Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. It's four player co-op chaos mode. That's kind of cool. That's gonna. This is like unwatchable for normal people though. Yo, Jesus Cobra, thanks for the six months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That this like for people that have no idea what's going on, this this like that haven't played the game before, or like know what a randomizer is, there's no way <laughs> that they have any idea what's happening during this. Pokemon Snap, 250,000 points. That's cool. Pokemon Snap at GDQ. Astral Spiff, Poppy Playtime. Eight minute bad game. Nice. Kate Even, Portal 2 inbounds, no SLA. TAS. Wait, it's a TAS? I didn't know Kate Even made TASs. That's fucking sick. A Portal 2, no SLA inbounds TAS. Okay. That'll be interesting. Usually the appeal of a TAS run is that it's just completely fucking broken. But this is like the least broken way you could do a TAS. But I, like, if you do it being super broken, it portal tasks are, like, unwatchable. So I guess it makes sense. Chaos Wolf? They're in my chat all the time. Uh, Power Slave, Exhumed, any percent. Yo, good shit, Remote Runner. Hell yeah. Zem, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, Wrench only? Really? What? That's fucking sick, dude. That's actually sick. Ratchet and Clank going commando wrench only. They they have dude GDQ's wacky. GDQ's on some fucking Pixie Dream Girl shit. They they're doing some wacky picks, dude. They're all over the place. I kind of fuck with it. Cha like new games list committee, just chaotic evil. Just like let's just do whatever we want. Like, these crazy runs. <laughs> that's that's fucking sick. Helix rolled out challenge warps. No idea what that is. Epiphany Satisfactory Package Percent. Isn't that like a puzzle game? No Resident Evil? Good riddance. Fuck Resident Evil. What's up, Koala Monkey? Shadow of the Colossus NTA Boss Rush Random. Shadow of the Colossus Boss Rush? That makes a lot of sense. Ruby Heart? That's dope. That's going to be a sick run. Dan the VP again on Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon? Is this like a phone game? What is this? A DLC? Shovel Knight DLC, maybe? An Eternal Enigma, my guy! The legend! Get Silent Hill 4 the room in. Thank God. He's been trying to get this shit in forever. I'm proud of you, my guy. If you watch this, you're a legend. I'm stoked. The only problem with Enigma doing a run is, who the fuck is going to commentate? Or not commentate. Who the fuck is going to do a host? Because Enigma needs to host all the good runs. And if he's doing a run, he can't host his own run. So we'll see. Uh, Maddie Inc. doing Slime Rancher, 80% glitchless. That should be cool. Uh, Nave doing Slide 2, Episode 1, any percent. Slide 2, just Episode 1. Isn't Slide 2, like, super fucking long and have unskippable cutscenes? Which is why it's just Episode 1, I guess. That's kind of cool. Uh, Brianato with Solar Ash. He really, they really wanted to run this game. 
stoked for them that they got it in. Uh, Kirby Ma- Ma- Mas- Kirby Master, that's how you read that. Uh, doing Sonic Advance for the Game Boy interface on GameCube. Uh, bid war between Sonic, Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. Cool. Be like Sonic. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Gamma's story. Okay. Interesting choice. Sonic Generations for the 3DS. That's probably the least interesting Sonic run on the block. But 3DS games getting in that aren't JRPGs is kind of cool. Fly 2 is like eight episodes. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Uh, Laverne doing Sound Voltex Exceed Gear. One player. Two hours long. What is this? Sound Voltex Exceed Gear. I don't know what that is. Deo Man. My fucking man. That's my Deo Man. That's my dog right there. That's my Spyro guy doing 120 percent the king himself that's gonna be fucking sick ps2 coming in hot with zem and dale man spooty biscuit and windayu doing step mania couples exhibition not itg this should be fucking sick this is where we're playing like it's ddr right but they're doing two people but they have to like dance across each other's pads pretty sure uh that should be really fucking cool. That should be a really cool rhythm game showcase. I'm, I, I really like the rhythm game showcases. I'm glad they're doing like one an event. It, this is the one that you want to see. Is there two? There are two rhythm game showcases? We'll get to the other one then. Uh, Let Ostrich doing Super Bonk. Uh, 28 minutes SNES game. Drunken Draconian doing Super Castlevania low percent. Low percent's cool. For Castlevania, especially. Uh, Krunon also doing low percent in Super Castlevania 4. Low percent is a cool category to see at a GDQ. That should be kind of scary, I think. That should be a hard run. Bullets gets a second run in. Super Dream Dasher, any percent. Never heard of that. Uh, David doing Super Hot VR. That should be really cool. Super Hot VR is a sick run. Sound Voltex is the other rhythm game. Oh, okay. Do you know what kind of rhythm game it is? This one? Damn, two-hour showcase for a rhythm game? Holy shit. That's a long rhythm game showcase. Like, what kind of rhythm game is this? Hand buttons. I see. That's all you know. I like the Mai Mai showcase. The Weeaboo washing machine. Like, it's, it's like, it's a circle. And it's got buttons, and you, like, slide around. That was sick. We'll see. That sounds cool. I, I'm all for rhythm game showcases. Super hot VR though is gonna be sick. You'll be fucking jumping around, fucking shooting all over the place. It's gonna be really rad. The setup is really long for a VR game to be 15 minutes long, so they really believed in it. Uh, Simply and Cheese won 20 star race, classic. Seth Bling, OG Minecraft YouTuber, uh, doing Super Mario All Stars. Plus Super Mario World, all five games with Ace. So this is Super Mario All Stars, but like you use Ace to beat it with Super Mario World, I'm guessing. Is that right? I'm like, that's the game that you could do that in, right? I thought you used OOT. Some shit like that. All five games with Ace. Is, wait, no. Super Mario All-Stars is... I'm, I'm dumb. I'm thinking about Super Mario RPG or whatever. All-Stars is like an HD collection or something? Either way, this will be fucking insane. Five games in 18 minutes with Ace. I guess they're playing them at the same time or something? Or is it a race? If this is a race, that's insane. Smash has five titles in it. Okay, I thought so. That That's crazy, though. Uh, uh, Carl Sagan, Grand Pooh Bear, Shoujo, Panga, uh, Tanuki Dan, Raise Fire, Archer, all doing a relay race of Super Mario Maker 2. These are some of my favorite things at the events, honestly. This is really fucking cool. This is like, they play like Mario Maker levels that are Kaiza levels, and every time they die, they switch controller to the next person. 
And like whoever beats the level first gets a point, and then they like do each level. They do like a list of levels for like an hour. It's really cool. Uh, Ganon, Super Mario Odyssey, darker side. I don't know what that means, but it's a three and a half hour Super Mario Odyssey category. That's really long. That's like all worlds or something, or what? I never played Odyssey. Random levels? No, someone else besides the runners picks the levels beforehand. Super Mario World Kaizo Relay Race, again, with Carl Sagan, Just Kook, Kez Cage, Shoujo, Shovada, and Third Wall. Otagope Super Metroid Kaizo. Dude, holy fuck, this game's list is stacked. Jesus. Otagope with Super, Mar Super Metroid Kaizo. That's going to be sick. Like, hope you like Mario because there's seven hours of it. Okay, but, like, Three hours of it is Kaizo Relay Races, which is like the best thing you could do with Mario. And like what, like one and a half hours of it is like cheese versus simple or whatever, right? 120 star. This will be sick. This might even close out the marathon. He did before with, with a very similar run. Uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, 80% glitchless, two hours Zelda run, here comes the OOT, OOT, uh, Dungeon Sanity, Dungeon Sanity Randomizer, uh, five player co, co uh, five player co-op, dude, holy co-op, this fucking event, dude, so many co-op runs. I mean, I fuck with it. I think races are a bad showcase for new games, but this is like all games that have been shown before. So this is like the theme of this GDQ. Games that have never been shown before. Games that have been shown before, but niche categories of those games or races or randomizers of games that have been shown before. And I think that that's the best way to do a GDQ because it's all shit. Like at this point, there's been so many GDQs that... Most of the big popular games have been done, right? Like at this point, it's like you got to do new games, niche titles, like races, relays, or like niche categories, you know? So it's really cool to see these. Uh, Wind Waker, all dungeons by Gymnast, 86. Nice, Gymnast, good shit. Um, that's a long Wind Waker run. Little Mermaid for the NES. No one is looking forward to that except for this guy right here. Maxi Lobes, my guy. Lord of the Ki Rings, Return of the King, any percent PC. You're gonna make it not crash, right? Because it was it was crashing a lot on you. <laughs> An hour and a half. This run's really cool. I'm surprised it got in, just because it's kind of long. But like, good shit, dude. I knew you were you're like really stoked on that. Like, good fucking job. Uh, made the, the DKC doing pathless all bosses. It only crashes for other pe for your PC, not anyone else's. So maybe at GDQ it doesn't crash. That's like the prage, right? Because like it's not your PC. Pathless, all bosses. Never heard of it. Long run though. Uh, Sheriff doing Thunder in Paradise. Interactive Television is the name of the category. I don't know what that means. Forty minutes. Sunny Muffin, Tunic, any percent? Don't know what that is. Eldritch Wolfie, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion 100%. What in the fuck is that? Turnip Boy commits tax evasion 100%. And it's 45 minutes long. What is that? That sounds crazy. Uh, Kama Crimson, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, any percent? 30 minutes. That game was sick. Jaxler, my boy, gets a run into every event because he runs the wackiest shit. Warden Melody of the Undergrowth, any percent. Good for you, Jaxler. That sounds awful. But you know what? Good for you. I'm happy for you. Shasta getting another run in. WarioWare. He's wanted to get that in forever. That's super so super stoked for him. Uh, NL Xenoblade Chronicles 2. A three hour Xenoblade run. All right. And my boy Froob getting a four hour, 20 minute Yakuza run in. I am sure. Fru is stoked out of his gourd right now. 
That is sick for Froob. Four hour Yakuza run. And he's in. In person. Not in remote. So Froob's gonna be there. This games list is stacked. So I got three runs in, basically. Left 4 Dead 2 MVP of GDQ, to be honest. It's up there. Hopefully you guys do a good job. And hopefully I can jump on that. That'd be cool. Here's the new problem, though. So I have three runs. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get back from GDQ. Like, ideally you want to do a run at a GDQ and then you come home and you run that game and then you get clout. But like, I'm going to be running DMC, Halo Infinite, and Left 4 Dead. I don't think I run Left 4 Dead when I come back because I'm going to be fourth man in a co-op run and like, I just don't want to get back there right now. But then it's like, do I do more DMC or do I jump on Halo? I could jump on Halo. I could go back to like Halo 3. Or I could, but I'm like done with DMC 1. That's the thing. Like I'll do the AC run and then I'll like run 3, I guess. You know? I guess I could like run DMC 3 and, and Halo. And just go back and forth. See, my yeah, that was my thought process too. Is like I've done so many DMC runs. That if I jump on Halo now, I could, like, build an audience that watches me for Halo. Right? Uh, because I don't have any audience that watches me for Halo. When, when I play Halo, the people that watch me are just my regulars. Right? But, I don't know. We'll see. I'll just do... I'll probably just do all of it. I'll probably just blow it and play CS instead.